Good delivery to start. Big appeal. Hamish Saiba, the umpire. But the ball moved after it passed the bat. It's gone for the full shot. Smelling. Takes a beauty. What a catch. Ganguly, the catcher. Big wicket for Zayed Khan because it is Sanat Jayasurya who's got to walk back. My God, we have seen some magnificent outfield catching in this series so far. That was fabulous. The surprise ball, the bouncer, was on to him too quickly. Got it high on the bat. Have a look at this, the balance, the poise, the eyes. Perfect. Brilliant catch. Sorov Ganguly, he's back in a big way. He's like a boy again, this lad. <laughs> Sadat's gone for two, it's five for one. So the captain walks out to the centre, Mahala Jayavardhana. That was a pretty good toss to win. A very talented player. He's lately been a little out of form. A great opportunity for him to get some runs. Another appeal, and up goes the finger. Another strike. Zayed Khan picking up two wickets in this over. Upul Taranga was a little disappointed, but the crowd's not. They're having a lot of fun. Look at that. He's, he's a little disappointed. There were two noises now. Two noises. Did he get an inside edge or did he clip his pad? He's too late onto the shot. Way too late. He's probably hit the bat afterwards. That's hitting middle leg for mine. Beautiful delivery, just cut back. He's gone for one, it's five for two. Kumar Sangakara, the vice captain. He is in very good form. This will be an important partnership for Sri Lanka. See the numbers which definitely tell you a story of his capabilities. And his ball then. He's bowled him, kept a little low. Getting the toe end of the bat. And the man in form, the danger man. Kumara Sangakara also bowls. The roar is coming through the commentary bar with goosebumps. It's unbelievable the atmosphere here. And Zahir Khan has done it again. A little late on the shot. Bottom edge. Celebrations all round. My goodness. Sangakara Dark at six for three. Marvin Atapattu is at the crease. Very experienced. More of a grafter. He's got a good average. Beautiful shot. Trademark Atapattu shot. First boundary. It's 12 for 3. That's beautifully played. Shouldn't mind that Ajit Agarkar because it was played on the rise. It was played away from the body. But in complete control on that occasion, Mahila. That should be 4. There's no stopping that. Very deliberately done. Beautifully controlled, had the away movement covered, should be happy with that shot. Atapattu's uh, role in this team is certainly is to try and push the ball around, try and uh, use the pace of it on this occasion, did it just exceedingly well. More runs, this will require some chasing down, he's not going to succeed, another boundary, this is a fast outfield. So two boundaries in this over is 30 for three. That is well played. That is experience for you. That will run away for four. Didn't try and do too much. Just wanted to put it into the gap, Atapatu. Atapatu's touch seems to be coming back. That was very well played indeed. He picked the gap on the offside and penetrated it so well. Just didn't give the fielders any chance whatsoever. 
Well, he didn't quite get that right. That is four. Just working the angle. A boundary to end the over. It's 49 for three. Oh, that's a great shot. Just picked up. It's a little like a little nine iron shot to the green on the 17th. The Pebble Beach or something. It just stopped. Hesitation. Whoa. But they picked up three. Uh, certainly, Agakar is looking uh, like the bowler they're going to go after. This one was uh, on middle and leg. So, slightly erratic, Agarkar with his uh, line. Oh, my goodness. Where was the wicketkeeper? Where was the first slip? Well, it's a staggered slip. Sachin is standing at almost third slip. And uh, Dhoni should have gone for that one. But excellent bowling. He's kept in that uh, corridor. My goodness. Uh, you know, when, you, when your first slip goes wider, the keeper has to go for everything. And he's watched it go past. God, I heard a noise there. It was like a rattle. <laughs> but he's got it fine. It's gone for four. And it's buys. That's turned. Uh, four bonus runs for Sri Lanka. It was uh, not given wides. I'm surprised. And the batsman was shuffling across, trying to guide it on the leg side. Can going a long way across. There are two men in the deep. Now Patel has deep square leg. Sevag at deep mid wicket. But he finds the big gap. Mahala Jaiwadra. Good shot. As he feels he's got to take a chance or two. He has hit it with the spin. So that's perfectly okay. Was well in control of that shot. Came right down the track. Big step forward. And the straightaway Rahul Dravid thinks it's time to put a fielder back. So mid on has gone to long on. Take it. Take it. Very lucky for Munaf Patel. He picks up his first wicket and look at the catch up. Just three men on the leg side and Atta Patu finds one of them. The crowd goes wild as India pick up the fourth wicket. Bhavan Atta Patu just unable to keep the ball along the ground. Low catch. Very well taken by Tendulkar. Good judgment. Move forward. And Patel has picked up a wicket. Sri Lanka lose their fourth. Bhavanatha Patu, after a fighting innings, goes for 42. 82 for four. Silakratne Dilshan, the last of the recognized batsmen in. Does well under pressure. Did so in the last match, Rajko. The reason why he's here with the Senjil Tendulkar. It's taken a beauty. Just inches off the ground. Look at the dive. The ball just not coming on to Atapattu's bat. He couldn't get any power onto the shot. Couldn't control, keep it along the ground. And Sachin Tendulkar is absolutely delighted. He's gone hard at that. And will race away to the boundary. Dilshan gets off the mark with the boundary. A little good innings in the last ODI. Made 56 runs. He was there with uh, Sangakkara in that uh, century partnership. Played a lot of Munaf Patel. He's an attacking player. He likes those deliveries which are short. Had control, although it went over the slip area. And he's got off the mark with a boundary. Again going across. Playing the sweep shot to good effect. Another boundary for the Sri Lankan captain. Well played by Mahila Jawadana. Playing it according to the length. Earlier he swept in front of square leg. This time he goes back with a square leg. The ball pitched close to his foot. Going down leg side. And he plays it fine.
Impact could be outside the line of box. Sam up close to finger. Sam and Toffel thought about it for a long, hard time. And departs. Mahela Jai Vartane. We'll have to wait and see. It will be an interesting replay. He was looking good, but now he's got to go. Again, paying the penalty of not moving right back or coming right forward. Just shuffling around the crease. And may have been a shade unlucky because that looked like it hit him just outside the off stump. But umpire Simon Torval has raised his finger. And the Sri Lankan captain has to go. Played well for his 30. Sri Lanka now 91 for 5. Russell Arnold walks in. Crisis man. Most of the Sri Lankan batsmen average in the mid-30s. Good, decent strike rate for Arnold. A normal motion, I thought the impact was outside the run box stump, and it was. Got a long way across, Mahala Jayavardhana. Very unfortunate. Bowlers don't complain, Ronel, I promise you. <laughs> well, it's a lot of work now for this man, Russell Arnold. Took his eyes off the ball. It was a juicy half volley. It's 91 for five. Useful over. A wicket of uh, the captain, Mahala Jayavodhana. Certainly that uh, front foot, the left foot. Inside the line of off stump. Umpire Toffel thought for a moment. Then raised the finger. No ball, big appeal. It's been called a no ball. Let's see if we can pick up a sound on the replay. Yes, from the reaction, you could say that uh, there was an edge. Maybe that Dilshan uh, picked it up. Certainly a, a big no ball. But uh, Dilshan could have picked the call up early. It right across the line. Definitely an inside edge. Disappointment. But that's what happens if you uh, go over the line. And he's done it regularly today. Good delivery to end the over. It's 94 for 5. From outside the off stump. He's played it extremely well. Made it look so simple. Russell Arnold picks up a boundary. Yes, he does uh, play that shot uh, regularly against the spinner. With the ball angling into him, he can do that. As long as he makes sure that he's right on top of it. And that's uh, what he did. But right on top of the sweep. Was able to hit it powerfully. Highly optimistic. Harbhajan Singh. Yes, he is angling the ball into the left-hander. Natural drift in. Certainly well outside the off stump. That's what they need to do. Just keep getting the singles. That brings up the 100. It's 100 for five. That is four. And that is beautifully played. He's putting some pressure on the bowling, Dilshan. Just a hint of room outside the off stump and he's pounced on it. That's a good shot. Harvard John feels he doesn't need any cover out there on the fence because he's bowling so well. The ball is turning back into the right hander. But uh, just a bit of width there for Dilshan. It didn't turn back and he pounced on it. Oh, it was in the air for a while but went into the gap. Catch it was the call but he'll get four. Too much width on that occasion but almost went, could have gone into hand as well. Russell Arnold will say, no, 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 I placed it there. I knew where I was hitting it. He's got four. That's all he's interested in. But through the gap. So we'll say, good shot. Look at the rotation on the ball from Harbhajan. Beautiful. Just the wrong line. 
He's gone for that. That might be four. There's no chasing that one down for Sehwag. Wonderful shot. Dilak Ratne Dilshan is really playing very uninhibited cricket. It's important that these guys play their natural game. He's a stroke maker. And that's a lovely cover drive. Beautiful use of the hands. Let the ball come to him. Played it late. Stunning shot, that. That'll run away. Just a hint of an inside edge, well glanced, I suspect. Boundary, 20 over, 12 off it, an expensive one. 126 for five. Terrific batting. Tendulkar just niggles away. Medium pace stuff, hard to hit. He got a four off the first ball, then singles, four singles, and another boundary at the end. Great over for Sri Lanka. Whoopsie, that's gone off Yuvraj's hands. He should have had that covered. Normally, he's electric on the field, but he's been off the field for a while. Couple of games. In the air, but just eludes that jumping Ajit Agarkar. Almost had that wicket, but in the Sevag. The top edge just going over for four. It was in the air for a while, wasn't it? Now, that's a good view here of how this got over the top. It's just over. Had he picked it up earlier, maybe a couple of steps back, or just one step back, might have just got up there. That's gone through. They'll get one at least. They'll probably get another. Oh. Certainly get two. Sort of Ganguly well, tidying it up at the fence. There's a big shout. But, uh, the umpire isn't interested. A delayed appeal from uh, Sevag. Dhoni went up first. And then, like the relay, Sevag went after him. Amir Saiba must have noticed that as well. There was a sound. This time he gets it away past uh, that short third man. Finally played, probably not intentional, but all the same, he picks up four runs. Sri Lanka 151 for five. Good boundary for Sri Lanka to end over. Wanted to play it much squarer, but uh, lucky for him, got it very fine. Tendulkar is back on. He gets that away, short and wide, and um, Dilshan hammers it through the offside. Well, Yuvraj has been very ordinary in the field today. Not like him to be ordinary, but uh, you get off days. And this should have been meat and drink for him. This time going wide, looking to try and drift it into the pads. That was a bad delivery. And uh, a gift basically for the Sri Lankans. Wide and four runs. Drives. Might look for the second. Yes, they'll get it easily as uh, the man down in the deep uh, has a long way to cover that Stendhal car. There's a big shout. Yes, it's gone. This time, Dilshan just looking for a little too much, not looking to try and play that last ball down, looking to force it to the offside, give himself the room and the big edge. Well, the ball bounced as well, just uh, spitting up from that length. Dilshan couldn't control it. Great take from Dhoni. Six wicket goes down for 180. This one was a straighter one. And getting that bounce of that top spinner. Dilshan departing for 42. Sri Lanka 180 for six. Sarbhajan doing the job for his captain. Taking another wicket. One more ball to go of his spell. And Maruf walks in. Maruf 
Sweeps and he sweeps well. There's a man in the deep. Sarav Ganguly does the fielding a couple there. And certainly the complexion has changed to uh, some extent through Dilshan and Arnold. Just clear the man. So these are important runs. Should pick up at least two. Ryan does the fielding. He's talking off that fifth bowler. Sri Lankan batsman got a bit of leeway. Maruf there, opening his arms and uh, swinging through. Getting the ball in there, but clear. Yes, and Arnold and Dilshan. Both made the most of uh, Tendulka and uh, Shevag's overs. Asking for trouble. He's got protection on the leg side. Two men in the deep. He'll get away. Maru picks up two more. This is the way to go. They need to uh, keep scoring off every ball. Get better on ball. Change the strike quickly. Whenever they can run the twos. So good start to this over for the Sri Lankan batsman. Two runs off uh, each of the two deliveries bowled. And again in the air, but he's made good contact. He easily cleared the man at mid-off Suresh Raina, and this is a quick outfield. You get good value for your shots. Top shot, that's a good cricket shot. Got his foot down the track, hit it on the up. Nice high front elbow, making sure that uh, he cleared that fielder wide off mid-off. Good shot by Maruf. He's looking to attack from the word go, and he's striking the ball very well. This is very sensible, good intelligent cricket. And extremely well run. Could be close. Sahiba, the umpire, hasn't referred it. Good cricket from Farbiz Maru. In the air and taken. See a regular bowler back in action. Harbert and Singh it was first that broke the partnership. And now it is Zaid Khan who's taken another wicket at an important time. He has got balls and that was a very good delivery. Maruf getting himself into a tangle. Pitch right up to him. Just rolling his fingers over as he delivered that. In the air for a while. Agaka took a bit of time to judge it but finally got to it. The ball looping in the air. And Maruf goes for 14. Sri Lanka are 196 for 7. Malika Bandara, the next one of Bolo Goodspell, it's quite a handy batsman. Best of 28, could do with that, Sri Lanka here. Yes, that uh, was worth uh, another look, I think. Did he really scoop it up or did he bump as he made contact? Good catch. But uh, Maruf uh, just went away, so he must have felt he hit it in the air. Very interesting. The last wicket. Why did Farbiz Maru walk? From the straight angle, it looked as though it was a bump ball. Edged and wide of Dhoni. To race away to the boundary to end the over. It's 2 0 4 for 7. Munaf Patel will be disappointed, but not Russell Arnold. He must be pretty pleased. He's reached his 27th ODI 50. Was it pitching in line? Yes, thinks the umpire Amish Sahiba. Another wicket. Was Ayer Khan, wicket number five. There's best figures in one day international. Zayed Khan, the crowd's on the feet. Yes, everybody's delighted for Zayed Khan. Oh dear, oh dear. That pitch so much outside the leg stump and Bandara 
will consider himself unlucky to be ruled out LBW looks back as he goes away he's gone for two and Sri Lanka now 204 for eight no one Kula Sekara comes in at number 10 the three always remain after this one just a 17th match in one international career but very unfortunate the last dismissal my initial reaction was did it pitch in line straight away no doesn't matter what happens after that can't be given shouldn't be given but was given dropped let's put it down normally he's got a very safe pair of hands Ajit Agarkar just get the feeling he did not expect a return catch Yes, we saw Munaf Patel drop one in the last game, took him by surprise. And here again, Ajit Agaka getting the ball right up onto his chest. Couldn't get his hands up on time. They hit it well. Malinga Bandara. In fact, he's hit it clean as a whistle. Raced away to the boundary. Manuel's decide to play the push shot and should get four. Fine leg was inside the ring. Get the feeling he must have been expecting the short delivery this time around. One for the big shot and finish this the innings in good style. Boundary for Russell Arnold and he's played a superb innings. 66 not out for Russell Arnold. And Sri Lanka have gone to 230 for eight in their 50 overs. Should be a wide first run on the board for India. Another wide. Sandukara does well to get a hand to it. This time it's not a wide that will disappear. To the fence, Virendra Seval off the mark and good style. It's in fact the uh, first legal delivery of the innings and uh, Sevak is so good on his legs. This really could be uh, ominous. They're just over pitched, asking for trouble, just three men on the leg side. Great shot. It's rocketed to the fence. Is Seva getting back into form? Is the big question. Well, that's the type of shot that would give anyone really confidence. That really hit the sweet spot. Sped away, as you can see. Into the gap. There's no stopping it in any fashion. He's gone for it. He's gone hard. That's the hallmark of Virendra Sevag. The ball's disappeared once again to the boundary. He's calling in boundaries now. That's the way to do it, particularly when it's outside the off stump. The shot was on and you need to go at it hard. Because, um, even if you don't really get it on the meat, there's little the chance of catching it. Shot ball is in the air and is taken. So Brendan Zerav goes. It was a disappointing start to the over, but what a win. Finish. Delhara Fernando has struck for Sri Lanka. Yes, that delivery reared on Sevag uh, quite unexpectedly. He was waiting on the front foot, basically looking for the drive. But uh, a short one took him quite by surprise. And the shoulder of the bat and a good catch by Dilshan. He doesn't look miss many but under it and Dilla Fernando has struck that would give him the confidence There's quite a silence here amongst the crowd Sevak departs for 12 India lose their first picket for 20 Sachin Tendulkar coming at number three most number of matches in one internationals and most number of runs as well coming in at number three Sevak fatted for a while, but really didn't um, 
go right through. That ball uh, took him by surprise. In fact, it was a good bounce-up from De Lara Fernando. Lot straighter this time, and elegance personified. As good as it can get. Oh, that was a glorious shot by uh, Saru Ganguly. Characteristic of him. So everything in position, went into it, head forward. And uh, the timing was exquisite. Oh, when he plays well, it's a real delight to watch Saru Ganguly. Was it a half volley? Was hit on the up. See a shot like that could demor demoralize the bowler. The slip comes out. But he'll still go through. Doesn't matter to Saro Ganguly. How many men are on the offside? He still finds the gap. Oh, he's got the nerve, he's got the experience. He's not going to get intimidated by the additional field on the offside. And when it's there to be hit, this time he hits it square past uh, Russell Arnold. It doesn't get better than that. No fuss, but good result for Saro Ganguly. This third boundary. For the crowds on their feet. What balance? Just look at this. If you don't really have balance, you can't play that. And Ganguly just turning those hips around and working through that mid-wicket region. And he's bowled in. Inside edge from Tendulka. And Luan Kulasekra picks up a wicket in his very first over. Stunned silence from the crowd. They can't believe it. The Sri Lankans have a history of fighting back very hard. They're doing it here. You could hear a pin drop and just look at those heads down. Tendulkar looking to force it through the offside. Nuan Kulasekar, he's got the knack of doing this, picking up some top wickets. Tendulkar playing on. Very unlike him, the ball probably coming slightly slower than expected. And Kulasekar, you could see the delight in him. Tendulkar goes for one, India, two down for 35. Yuvraj Singh comes in at number four. Oh, shot. Oh, stunning shot. Yuvraj. First boundary for Yuvraj Singh and a top shot. Just got into position. Easy to off his pads. Ball coming back into him with the angle from round the wicket. Head still over it and uh, very nicely into position. Whipping it away. Oh, straight down leg side again. You can't do that coming around the wicket. Beautifully played away for four. Into the over, 52 for two. That shot's got the crowd on their feet. Two deliveries down the leg side, and Yuvraj Singh has made the most of both. That's the last ball of the over, down the leg side, high back lift. Flicks it uh, to fine leg, no chance for Bandara. Oh, that's high, wide and handsome, it's in the air, it's over Bandara's head. Down past the practice wickets and it's four more. Saro Ganguly was waiting for the ball to be pitched up. The field is all inside the 30-yard circle. And that was the first one that was pitched right up to him. Bido with as well to swing the arms. And he took the aerial route for hitting the practice turfs and then racing away. So boundary is uh, coming thick and fast. Oh, take that. That'll up the run back a bit. What a shot. He absolutely smashed that to the delight of the crowd. The fans are waving. Tenth boundary in the Indian innings. Just got right up to it. He's waiting to hit those over the infield. And straight away prompts a change in the field. 
in the air. Dropped. Mind you, it was hit hard. It's Bandara. Dived to his right and couldn't quite hold on. It looked as if he had um, missed the sighting of it for a moment. Slower delivery from Kulasekra. Ganguly going through with the drive. And he really didn't throw himself in the beginning. Lunged at it and then tried to throw himself. That was too late. Too late when he got there and the ball goes through his hands. He's got that away. That's gone all the way. Just too short. Lovely pull shot for four to end the over. 72 for two. Just have a look at that. Wasn't quick enough, it was just a fraction short. Pretty much off the front foot. That pulled through mid wicket. Great shot. Drives and beats the man down off the top of the ring. That's running down for four. Useful runs for India. 78 for two. Another great shot by Yuvraj. Just leaning into it and whipping it through that off on side. A class of Yuvraj stamped all over it. There were two fielders there, but uh, look at those wrists. Super. Look at the power generated. It's very important for India that this man gets in form. And when on form, he's probably the prettiest batsman in world cricket. That's it there, yes it is gone. He certainly is devastated, a slow delivery, played a lot, lot too early, and just hold out a catch to be done. The ball, uh, I think, stopping and coming. Yuvraj was through with the shot. So once again, after a good start, Yuvraj uh, not able to take it through. Out for 21. All oh, the Sri Lankans, they are ecstatic about that. Yuvraj looks so good. Dilara Fernando picks up a wicket when everything looks rosy for India. Yuvraj goes for 21, India 83 for 3. So the captain Rahul Dravid here arrives at the crease. And that record of his uh, certainly does not need any gilding. Averaging 39.91. Wants the single direct hit, but I think he's home. Simon Toffel, the umpire, doesn't direct it to the third umpire. He's quite convinced. Well, I got the impression that sort of had reached with time to spare, but it was a little tardy in putting the bat down now. No, 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 it was easy. Uh, it was a piece of cake. Ah! Could be close, and now goes the finger. He's given it. Malinga Bandara picks up a wicket. And what an important wicket this is. Another well settled batsman, Saro Ganguly. Isn't very happy, but he's got to go. He's been dismissed for 48. This is tragedy for India's perspective. Now he's gone across, the ball is straight, and that's plum. That is a huge indiscretion by Saro Ganguly. You don't expect him to make mistakes like that. He's either got to take it from outside the off stump or got to ensure that it's turning down the leg side. Real bad error in judgment, but gone for a well-made 48. 94 for 4, India. Mahindra Singh Dhoni out in the middle. 28 overs still remain. India need 137. Good strike rate. Oh. Very close. Very dangerous as well. See, that's what he does. He varies his trajectory. Now, this, he played the trajectory, not the length. Rahul Dravid would be very disappointed with that effort. It was a flatter one, but it wasn't short. Could have been on the front foot on that occasion. Mm -hmm. 
brings up the 100, the single for India. And getting to the pitch, we'll look for two, good placement. Navanathapattu, the fielder. Should get two. That's a poor delivery. It's been put away, but good fielding again. That's been one of the keys to Sri Lanka's success in the recent past. They've been simply superb in the field. Upul Taranga doing the job there. He got it where he wanted it, but it, the wicket is so slow and low that he couldn't quite get too much timing behind it. Oh, that is a good shot. That is the boundary, much needed one in a long, long time. Also ends the over, but eight of it. The ball 126 for four. Well drive, look at that career, 309 matches, 10,000 runs. Beautifully punched through mid-wicket, and it looks like a save down there, no. I think it's a long way from us here, I think it's Upul Taranga made a valiant attempt then. Yes, a desperate attempt uh, from Taranga. Low full toss, well played by uh, Dravid. He was well balanced, the front foot anchored as he made contact. Desperation there from Upul Taranga, but he rolled away from him. He had to take his eyes off the ball as he tumbled and the ball hitting his legs and then ro rolling onto the line. Good shot. Backward cut. Stunning shot for four. Consecutive boundaries for Rahul Dravid. That set the crowd alight. One through mid wicket. And this one short from Kulasekra. Rahul Dravid straight down. Didn't get up too much. Not much of bounce on that one, but he played it well. It's incredible the way they've paced themselves in this innings, India. There have been no boundaries for 12 overs, and all of a sudden, three consecutive boundaries. Magnificent shot, that. The bowling change not working for Mahila Jaiwodhana. Three consecutive boundaries. Rahul Dravid, who's gone past 10,000 runs in one day cricket, opening out, playing some glorious shots in this over. He's used his feet and he should come back for the second. There he goes. There was this pressure on him to go over the top. Didn't quite middle it, but he's got that all-important boundary. 50th delivery for Dhoni and his first boundary. Oh, this is so uncharacteristic of him. Threw cautions to win on that occasion. Probably prompted by the reaction of the crowd as well. And um, got it square, really didn't get the full meat of the bat, but it's a long boundary. But all the same, he picked up four runs, useful runs at this stage. Immediately a slower one and immediately overthrows. Two runs. Expensive that shy at the wickets. That was the captain. He apologizes. But he felt he had a chance. Yes, I think the Sri Lankans would look to attempt at anything to try and pick up a wicket. 
the batsman was Soam and uh, the Indians steal two runs in the process. Shervardhana not very happy as uh, there was no one covering up the throw. That's a good shot. That's his 50. 50 of 68 deliveries in crucial circumstances. Rahul Dravid still there. Gets a standing ovation. Very appreciative of this crowd. So that is really what responsibility is about when you're captain. You have certain things in your mind and you set the example. You see a lot of character in that innings. Fifty of sixty-eight runs all around. He's going to get runs there. One's on. He wants the second. He's very quick. Tony. Two runs to end the over. Seven runs from it. One eighty-two for four. There he goes. He's gone over the top. He's got the boundary. One bounce and out of the ground. Resulted in the wicket too early into the shot, Dravid. Another one of his slower ones, a slow bouncer. Yes, he bowls that so well, uh, Delara Fernando, with a split finger. I would imagine that was one of those deliveries. Just keeps on coming at you when you're forced into the shot. So, Dravid playing so much earlier. I think it was more the glove, just eluding that diving hands of uh, Sangakara. And now Dhoni on 50. They're coming back for the second. 51 for Dhoni. What an appreciation he's getting. What a valuable inning in the context of this game. All the uncharacteristics showing that this uh, lad has matured greatly. You need to try and adjust the type of innings to the situation. Well, that was a definite attempt at a run-out by Bandara. Ends up with a single, but that was worth a try. The Sri Lankans need to try anything they could uh, lay their hands on. Yes, he would have been gone if uh, that really hit. That was very special thinking by Bandara. Almost got it. And the singles, they keep coming. See, with four men in the circle, there's very little chance of saving the singles. Particularly the pitch being slow, ball's not turning. Jawadhan will have to come up with a different option. If he's trying to get even a peep here. Well, that's been smashed back, and it's four. There's no stopping that. Immense power. Brings up the 200. It's now 203 for four. Far too fine is the man in the deep. Another boundary for Dhoni. Took him a long time to get his first boundary, but now Dhoni is rocking. He's rocking okay. He was batting for so long in his innings at around about 56 to 60, and now he's got the strike rate up to 90 in a very, very short time. He's proved to us that he can push it around if he wants to, or he can attack and destroy an attack if that's what's required. Doesn't time this too well, running hard. And home. Chance of an overthrow. Dhoni takes it. It's a two more to India, two more to Dhoni. Crowd's getting excited. It's great for the crowd because he wanted the second. There was an attempted run out. He just made it at the non-striker's end, the end that he was running to for the single. And he overran the crease by a long way. Look at this. And then with the overthrow, he could have said, no, that's enough. But he wanted to get back on strike. He's doing it for the crowd at the moment. 
and India, of course. We'll look at the follow through. Back you go. <laughs> and he really has to put in. Well done. Mid on and mid off inside the circle. Tony will look to hit straight down. And he's doing it for the crowd. He's doing it for India. It's an Indian crowd, Bruce. Way down leg side. Could be five to India. Difficult take for Sangakara. Bonus runs for India. Good Yorker. Very good Yorker. Did he get some bad onto that? Tolfo says no to the decision. Great delivery under pressure. It was a terrific Yorker, wasn't it? Good pace. Ah, a little bit of reverse swing. Inside edge. Chi Torfel's a good umpire. Very good umpire. Great decision. Over the top. End in Captain Rahul Dravid. Has it gone the distance? Yes, it has. Six to end the over. It's 227 for four. Don't they love him when it's hit over the fence? First six of the Indian innings. And magic footwork. Sanath Jayasuriya coming around the wicket, angling in the legs of uh, Dravet. And he ran around it. See that? Got rid of the left leg, threw the right hip in, and over the top. What a great shot for the crowd. Four to win, big appeal, and Drav is gone. Drav has decided to walk. Malinka Bandara getting a fingertip on it, and Drav was out of the crease. What an unfortunate way to be dismissed, the Indian captain. But he's made a significant contribution for India. Well, he's so disappointed. He, the skipper wanted to see it through. But brilliant stuff here from Bandara. He tried it last over as well. When one was smashed back to him, that is clever stuff. That's good all-round cricket from Bandara. 66 for Drava, 227 for five. Dinesh Karthik walks in. I think they're requiring four to win. Could be the winning rounds. Yes, it is. India win to make it one all. Boundary for Dinesh Karthik. Brings about cheer in the crowd and some of the film stars as well. Yes, Donnie was terrific. Dravid was fabulous. Ganguly got him away to a great start. Some great stroke play. Got him away right from the very first wicket today when he took that fabulous catch, diving catch, running back with the ball behind square to the Swiss Sanas Jaya Saria. From that moment on, I felt that India felt good about themselves and they'd be hard to beat.